Welcome back, Last Request Barbecue Show. It's been a while since I've done an episode, but I'm back. And as you can see, there's something brand new on the set. What did I get for my wonderful family for my birthday? A huge griddle. Now, I've always wanted to explore griddle cooking, and we're going to have a bunch of episodes that are going to do just that, starting with this one, which is chicken zatar fried rice. It's going to be a blast. It's a bunch of steps. So I've been really keen on getting a griddle, and Crown Verity had a big, it's like 100 pounds, 36 inch. You remove the hood from the barbecue. That's why you see something a little different and slide this massive griddle on. So now I've got a five burner, super, super duper griddle. And as you can see, it's not brand new. I've been using it extensively, learning it. It's a pile of fun, actually. I've also never been burnt more times in my entire life cleaning or cooking barbecue. So it's a fun learning curve. I'm making all kinds of interesting stuff. I'm using it in more ways than I ever thought I would. So I thought I would start out with this episode where the star of the show is uh, smoke shows, zatar, spicing, uh, spices, I should say. These griddles require a fair bit of cleaning and maintenance. It's a whole different specialty thing. As you can see, as I'm putting it on here, I'm using this special cleaning stuff. I'm using some, you know, not so special cleaning stuff. You know, I'm putting on some grapeseed oil and then this block, this pumice block, you scrape down. You don't do that every time, or at least I don't, but I do clean it every time. So it involves a fair bit more, I guess, more maintenance. I mean, some of you have said, hey, I could clean my barbecues more often. I'm getting a little bit more religion about that, actually. But as you can see, there's a lot involved in keeping the griddle going. It's so well seasoned now. After a while, you can see a bit of heat already coming off this. This one's already turned on. So a bunch of things going on in this episode. Thanks so much for following me. Uh, you know, some of my episodes just blowing up on Instagram, TikTok, a little less so, YouTube, YouTube Reels. So thanks again for tuning in. Subscribe, smash that subscribe button and the alert button so new episodes will be coming back out and we're gonna have a bunch of grill episodes. I picked up a bunch of learning, been watching a bunch of videos. Matt Pittman, for example, from Meat Church does an amazing job. And we're gonna talk about the griddle. As you can see, it's heating up right now as we go. So let's get to it. Our first step is to grill up our chicken zatar. Now, as you can see, as we pan away to my prep work, my mise en place, so to speak, this chicken has been sitting for a couple of hours in the fridge. Now, what I've done here with this organic chicken pieces, I've got a ton of garlic, basically four tablespoons of garlic, a bunch of parsley, uh, lots of this delicious basil olive oil. I wanted to use our bespoke basil olive oil. And then, of course, the zatar and a bit of salt to go with it. So it's been marinating in that. Now, I'm gonna cook it on the yoder over fire, because I want a real smokiness in the Zatar chicken. So first of all, I'll need to pull off the grate. So I've already pulled out the rack. And by the way, just in case you're wondering, next up is the Yoder. I've got paint. I'm gonna do a good job of uh, repairing and bringing the Yoder back up to standard. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I wanna cook this over live fire, so to speak, which, look at that, check out that, right? Tap these out for a bit, well used. There we go, a little chunky there. I could use a cleaning, but I'm gonna cook it right over the burning fire. So I've got my temperature cranked up because I want a lot of smoke, a lot of fire, I should say. And let's get this on. Look at, look at that chunks of garlic. 
chives. It smells delicious. Now I'm gonna put what's left of this onto the chicken to cook it up, and I'll save some for when I flip it over. I want some great char mark right over that direct heat, so this isn't gonna take long. Of course, I'll cook that to 165 plus, but it'll have some nice char, and that char will create beautiful flavor when it gets onto the grill. All right, our chicken has been cooking under a fast flame and heat for uh, about 15 minutes. Let's take a check, see how we're doing. We are at 160, so I'm gonna leave that out a little bit longer. Of course, I'd go to 165, which is where it needs to be, but uh, it will pick up some heat from the griddle. So let's leave it on for a little bit longer and over to the griddle it goes. All right, we are ready. Let's get started for this fun. Now, first of all, I'm using avocado oil and I've got this great little thing. So I just pop some oil on here. Then with my handy Lee Valley Tools spatula, spread it around a little bit. Make sure we got a nice surface to cook on. This is after I rigorously cleaned it. Use that avocado oil. It's kind of a low smoke point oil. As you can see, it's not smoking like it was, like the uh, other oils were when I was cleaning it, so that's our beginning. So, first of all, we have our rice. So I cooked up the rice with my wonderful rice cooker. I had some uh, Thai rice, lay it out on a tray, spread it out, and it's been in the fridge for about uh, three, four hours just to dry out. So let's get this on to the griddle. Very important to dry this rice out. You can do it overnight as well, but certainly a couple hours in the fridge is what it's gonna take. Now to our rice, I like using dark soy. You can use regular soy sauce. I like the color, a little bit of the flavor. So we'll put some soy in here with that dark color. And then we're gonna add some roasted sesame oil. Adds just a delicious flavor. Next, I'm gonna put in some of our smoke show zatar. Of course, there's already some in the chicken, but I wanna add this on here as well. Not too much, oops. I cut up our chicken, get that grilling. Nice and warm, so it doesn't take much. That's beautiful. This comes together super quick. There's a fair bit of prep, but it comes together quick. Now you can add anything you want in this. You could add veggies, you could cut up anything. You get some peas in the freezer, bam, as Jamie Oliver would say. You could put anything in here you want to bring freshness to it. I'm gonna add some green onions. I'm gonna mix that in once they cook up a little bit. I just flipped our rice. I'm gonna add a little more soy sauce to the rice. Not too much though, I don't want it too salty. There we go. And just a touch more of our oil here, not too much. There we go, that's enough. Mix that up again. Beautiful. And what would this kind of rice be without, of course, eggs. Okay, last time, this is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Nothing like cooking eggs on these griddles. It's fantastic. There we go. And I'm actually into the eggs. I'm gonna put a little bit of sumac. That's right, a little bit of sumac. You know, sumac is that very fragrant, woody flavor. I'm just gonna put a bit of that sumac into the eggs here. And then let's chop this up. Isn't that great? Cooking with this thing is so much fun. And everything tastes better cooked outside. The onions are doing nice. I think I'm gonna mix those up now with our chicken. Let those flavors come together. All right, had to change the angle of the camera. Got a bit hot. All right, let's start mixing up. So first of all, I'm gonna put the egg in here. I like mine eggy. You could use one egg. You could use no eggs. This is a wonderful, fun thing. You use whatever you want. Late night feasting. Today it's gonna to be midday lunch for me and Chef Emmett on this beautiful, beautiful September day. October actually, can you believe it? It's October. All right, let's mix it all together. Put all this together. I'll move that over there so you can see it a bit more on the camera. You can see with a nice seasoned grill, it all kind of comes together. Look at that. Look at that. All 
right. And we are done. So let's get that plated up and we'll take a look at it. Woohoo! Check that out.